Hey guys, another video for our modern Japanese architecture playlist. First of all, I'd just like to apologize for the camera. The camera was mounted on the bicycle, just out for a bicycle ride, and stumbled on this. Saw a sign saying Hotel R9 The Yard, and never heard of it before, so came in to have a look. There's two shipping containers there joined together. That's the office and the reception. And then there's a row of shipping containers there that are the hotel rooms. Check it out. Isn't it amazing? So didn't manage to go inside, but did manage to score a couple of pictures of what they look like inside. So that's what they look like. So it's a shipping container. So they had, we looked on their website, they had single rooms, uh, single beds and double beds. So there's two singles. They had doubles as well. Uh, about 5,000 yen a night, so about 50 bucks a night per, for one person. So not a heck of a lot cheaper than a business hotel or a, or a small hotel. Look, see they're still on their trailers. They're still on their trailers and they're still on wheels and they still have their, their number plates. So they've driven them in on the back of a truck or driven the truck in towing the trailer and then put the trailer into place there and, and left it there and then connected up the plumbing and the electricity. But it also means that they can move them any time. They can just come along with a truck and hook up a truck and just drive them away. See the, the stoplights, stoplights, indicators... License plates, the whole thing. It's it's sitting on a trailer. It's an amazing. So it turns out there's actually a chain of these around Japan, different places around Japan. So it's easy, isn't it? They rent the rent the land, or buy the land, and then just pull up a bunch of these side by side, connect up the plumbing, connect up the electricity, and off they go. They're amazing. Shipping container hotel in Japan. More videos coming soon.